Okay, hello again. Now it's time to make some repair for the Polarit swing switch. This switch over here, it's rather poor in quality. This is the second one that has gone broken in my use. And there is not so big things that has happened. It. This switch is barely working anymore. And the way it fails, it, it's short circuiting the winds. When you are winching in it, stocks and all these parts, they are already loose. So this is just hanging on barely inside. Nastiest thing is the price for this switch. It's close to 100 euros, something like 90 euros. But I already bought one and now it's all already broken again so not gonna buy third one anymore so my plan is to replace the, this is the original one that's in pieces take some wires from this put this kind of plain switch into the machine and also to equip it with this remote control i ordered some parts from different web stores already but those stuffs they are coming after only few weeks some some from china so not gonna wait for those to arrive so i'm gonna try to fit <clears throat> this is a little bit too big this plastic housing and this aluminium housing is too small so i'm getting better aluminium housing but i don't have it yet so just to try to build this mock-up from these parts with this plastic housing and try that if it if it's possible to fit this into same place so the original switch it, it's really weak in in the design it's funny that polaris sells this kind of shit but the plastic is really thin on the edges and when you hit the switch with something even lightly, it will break down from here. And then this small hatch that, or this contact plate that is inside, it will flip together with this thing that pushes this <coughs> contact plate. And they are misaligned and then it, the switch stays on in either directions. It's even possible to burn the winch motor, I guess. But there's nothing you can do in the forest when, when this happens. So this is really poor in design, this switch. And this is 90 euros. So it's a robbery. But I'm gonna use this first one that broke down to check that these wires are going and also to utilize this to fix these my things into the wire harness of the ATV so gonna use this and make some measurements for the switch to see how the electricity goes so which one is which So the red one wire, red wire is the middle one that is then with the switch divided to either one of these to the black or to the green. So if I'm lucky then this red wire has also the voltage in it when the machine is on or the power is on. It. I can steal that same power for this remote receiver, so have to check it from the ATV to measure the voltage, if there's a voltage or not. Then I, it would be easy for me to put this to the red one and find the negative ground from, from somewhere else, like, like this attachment piece that I'm going to use to put these switches onto the 
handlebar. But let's, let's make some measurements and see how it is. Now there is some wire ends that I'm going to use to measure from the ATV, so let's go do that. Already took the cover away. The wire harness is going from the back side, so I have to lose these zip ties first to make access for this, how do you say, coupling or something like that. And tend to make measurement for, for the electricity. Here we have the current version of Switch and it still operates but it's possible to jam it. But this is broke down, broken down, so nothing to rely on. Let's put this why uh, where we can you do the measurement for the voltages From the red one, we are getting the 12 volts or something close to that. So it means that for the receiver, I can I can probably get the power from this red lead. So it makes it easier for me to build up the wire harness for the for the remote control. So let's go forward with that plan. I know, of course, the wind should operate by by putting this. Yes. Once again, to show you some sparks. That's simple. So it's say, saying that the battery is low in voltage. That's why the reading was so low. So let's put that, put the, this uh, charger on. Placement for this battery is It's rather nasty place for the battery to put it in the lowest point of the vehicle. And absolutely no space for hands to go in into that to put any plug. So last year I put this cable ready to make it easier to load the battery or charge the battery. So this mode should be used, but I guess we are using the auto mode now. This is so small charger that it won't harm the battery with that setting either. 
and I'm not gonna leave it on. I'm just gonna charge while I'm by myself also here. And one reason for the low voltage was that the driving lights are on, so and this ATV has been sitting in minus grades for two weeks outside. I just drove it in, so the battery is something like, like minus 10. And now when the lights are off and the charger is on, it doesn't say anything about the voltage. So hopefully the battery is still live and kicking. At least it started quite well, so it's not completely dead yet. Let's take our things and go proceed with the remote control wire harness.
Tässä on juotaan sun ompelukone. This is the antenna. Gonna drill a hole for this tube.
moment of truth. This is my lottery night. Works like a charm. There is a small delay in this. So the wiring was really simple. I used the original fitting and the red wire was the plus my positive. And that is coming like in the original to the switch into the middle. And then the two D wires in, in and out for the winds, they are on these sides. And this Chinese remote it, it's connected directly to these same outputs and also the uh, voltage to run this receiver it's taken from this middle, middle one and then the negative is taken from the handlebar connection from this stud bolt so I'm gonna put the cover on and I have ordered aluminium casing from from web, internet web store so I'm gonna change it over here but just write these parts with this really cheap plastic housing that I had already in, in, in the storage so now I'm gonna run with this it's pretty it's it's large in size but this switch costs 90 euros and to build this it was something like 5 euros for this switch 5 euros for this housing and 10 euros for this receiver so something like 20 euros versus original 90 euros so at least at the moment I'm happy with this so it operates like like the original from this thanks for watching